Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and today I am going to be taking myself out on a date. I'm someone who's really comfortable spending time by herself and finds a lot of comfort and solidarity in spending time alone, and I feel like that's very strange in the 21st century, especially with like Tinder culture, dating culture. Although I've been in a relationship myself for the past three years, I don't really see myself as someone who needs a partner all the time or I guess is a serial monogamist. I'm just kind of happy being alone and doing my own thing and if someone happens to come along and we get along really great then like so great so be it. Just a quick moment to thank Skillshare for partnering with me in this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform with hundreds of different videos on everything from UX UI design to sewing and I have a link down in the description box for two months of free Skillshare if you're interested. I'll have more details at the end of the video about Skillshare. Back to our solo date. It's currently like 100 degrees in Davis, so I'm going to keep this little card chatting segment short, but today I thought that we would be makeup free, get to know the most authentic and real version of ourselves. I'm going to take myself to a coffee shop, nice lunch, hit up a craft store, do some DIY and sewing because I haven't done that in a long time, and just really spend some time doing things that I really want to do. I don't feel like for me a date has to be going out somewhere really nice, dressing up very special. For me a date is doing, is just spending quality time with someone that you love or care about, which today happens to be myself. So we're gonna hit up Pachamama coffee and maybe get some sushi and go to Joanne Fabrics. I don't know, we'll see what the day has in store for us. So now we're gonna head to Joanne Fabrics, pick up some fabric things, head to a fabric store, and then do some DIYing because that is my idea of like the perfect day. Just hanging out at home, doing some DIYs. I'm really excited. back home. We're gonna do some DIYing and I'm gonna make a few Reformation style shirts because your girl doesn't have the coin to spend on Reformation. DIY time. So really quick about Skillshare, it's an online learning platform with videos on everything from UX UI design to sewing. It's actually where I learned a lot of my own sewing skills and I have a link down in the description box for two months of free Skillshare and at $10 a month it's super affordable and something that I highly highly recommend. So a little sewing update. I am, ooh boy, almost done. I'm like more than halfway done shearing this piece of fabric. I'm gonna do like a shirt top, but the lack of noise has kind of made me a little, it's been kind of weird just sewing to nothing. So I'm gonna play a little bit of The Office. Here's my DIY shirt top. 
I think that I might add straps here. I might not because like, that's a lot of work and I'm pretty lazy. Yep. And all this took was three quarters of a yard of fabric. Okay, I'm so excited to share this top. I literally just finished it, but this is my like reformation inspired top. I attached the sleeves here and I don't really know how I feel about it. I think I might replace it with like sleeves that go this way or I'll just make another one, you know? It's been like the perfect take myself out on a date day. I know there's not a lot of outdoors going on. I think I've spent the past three hours just sitting and sewing between the pink shirt learning how to sure and like all that test trial and actually finishing and completing this top i can't believe that this is something that i made with my two hands in an afternoon unbelievable okay i'm done tooting my own horn it is 6 p.m i'm gonna clean up this mess that i've made in the living room and go and grab some dinner I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm just gonna head to bed. It's 9 p.m. Grandma's gotta go. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. I'd like to thank Skillshare for supporting this video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning platform with hundreds of videos and all things creative from UX UI design to sewing. I've personally been a paid user of Skillshare myself, and at $10 a month, it's significantly more affordable than university tuition and a great way to kickstart your creative dreams during the school year. I have a link down in the description box for two months of free Skillshare if you're interested down below. One of my favorite Skillshare classes is a class on how to create your very first website. It's about HTML and CSS basics, and if you're someone who's trying to become a web designer or wants to go into tech, I would highly recommend taking this course. Thank you Skillshare for supporting this channel, and thank you for watching and helping me make this my job. It truly means the world to me, and I couldn't have done this without you.